Hey guys, this is Tom with The Verge, and today I'm looking at the new Microsoft Edge browser running on an Xbox Series X. Now, obviously, um, Xbox has had an Edge browser for quite some time now. This is actually the Chromium-powered version, which you'd obviously find on the PC right now. Um, so that obviously gives us access to more, more compatibility on the web, essentially. Um, now, I will say this is super early. This is an alpha build. Uh, Microsoft's testing this at the moment. It's probably months away from actually being available on Xbox consoles, but I thought I'd dig in and sort of show you what's there right now and, and how it all works now the first thing you notice is obviously the interface looks pretty much the same basically as what you'd find on pc you can navigate around using the controller you cannot navigate around using a mouse um, that is not supported currently i don't know whether it will be supported later um, but it's definitely a limitation in microsoft sort of like uwp platform on the xbox right now um, now the other thing you will notice is extensions are actually missing so usually you'd have a drop down here or, you, or in the um, near the address bar at the top here for extensions you can obviously go into the chrome store try and add an extension it looks like it's going to work click add extension and then it will actually fail so i'm not sure whether that's going to be restricted on the xbox um, or you know whether that's just missing right now but it's not there right now um, you do get like the sort of familiar stuff in edge like your collections um or your book bookmarks will sync all that sort of stuff works um so pretty good if you're using it across mobile and, and PC. Um, you don't get access to any dev tools or anything like that. Um, so you can't change like user agent strings or anything like that. So um, that's the, pretty much the most basic part of um, the Edge browser running on here right now. You can obviously change the themes. If you prefer a light theme, you can do that. You can change all the colors, um, go in and grab themes from the store and all that sort of stuff. Like that's pretty basic. You can even change like, you know, the Bing search engine to Google. So all the stuff you'd, you'd expect. So why would you want to use this? Um, I think the biggest thing is that you obviously get a lot better compatibility across the web. That does mean stuff like Stadia works. Um, I can stream games here, like I can, launch into cyberpunk uh, and play that um, i'll show you that now if we go into here you can play stadia on an xbox i don't know why you'd want to do that but you know you can <laughs> um it's there um it'll load in the background now um obviously other streaming services like um geforce now nvidia does actually block uh for some reason um edge in general um i can't change user agent string to sort of get around that block at the moment um but i'd imagine it would work fine if nvidia just didn't block the user agent string there um but yeah stadia works fine um has full sort of like controller compatibility as well um we'll wait for this to sort of load in and i can show you that um so yeah you can run stadia games if you really want to but like like i say you could probably get the same game on the xbox anyway so um, it'll be interesting to see how this edge browser actually runs on like an xbox one or an xbox one s um which are like obviously slightly underpowered these days um where you might want to actually stream games but yeah the, the xbox controller works fine on on stadia i can load into games all that sort of stuff um what i do need to do because this is an early build is I have to like quit out to actually give myself back control of, of the um, of the controller when when you're in stadia so um, so yeah other stuff you can obviously actually use discord so if I open up discord on the web we'll go into here um, what you will notice is my microphone is muted um, I can join in chat so if I go into like a voice channel here I'll go into there it will join, I can hear people talking, all that sort of stuff, I just can't talk. Uh, again, super early build, um, I'd imagine there'll be microphone support down the line um, that's properly configured and everything um, in the actual browser itself, but right now you can't do that, but you can listen to people. Um, you could obviously chat in text channels as well, um, all that sort of stuff. Um, say sup. And... One thing you can't do is you can't run this in the background. So say if I, I don't know, switch out to like settings, um, I won't be able to hear the, hear the person on Discord talking right now um, or whatever, you know, web service you're using there. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a limitation going forwards or whether that's going to be fixed. Um, again, early build, so who knows. But it's there, you can get into Discord. Um, so it's pretty, pretty good. Um, other stuff, I mean, there's not much else really to, to show... Um, I could go into like office on the web if I wanted to let's go into here and then this document loads in and obviously if I had a mouse attached it's not going to work right now 
um, but I can just start, you know, typing. So I could write Word documents on here um, if you really wanted to. I don't know how many people would do that, but the functionality is there. Um, and yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything you probably want to know about this browser right now. As I say, it's in skip ahead alpha testing right now with um, Xbox Insiders. So that probably means it's months away. Um, so we'll see what they change with it. Um, but it's pretty fully function, uh, fu fully functional right now. And it runs pretty smoothly. Um, I haven't encountered too many bugs. So I'm super interested to see like how they wrap this all up um, and get some of the sort of missing microphone support um, in there. I wonder if extensions are coming. I doubt it, I think, but um, super interesting right now. If you want to run Stadia in there, you can. But um, yeah, that was a real quick look at the new Microsoft Edge browser running on the Xbox Series X.